As Minnesotans, Rhonda and I always look forward to the summer months when we take advantage of the beautiful lakes and beaches within our state. Recently, we decided to take a trip to Canal Park Beach in Duluth, Minnesota with a few friends. Little did we know, our day at the beach would be far from perfect. When we arrived at Canal Park Beach, the first thing we noticed was the weather. It was overcast and drizzly, not exactly the ideal beach conditions. However, we were determined to make the most of our day and decided to explore the beach regardless. If it wasn't for the rain, we would have normally seen sunbathers lying out on the sand, surfers catching waves, and families enjoying picnics on the beach. For us Minnesotans, we know that on sunny days, Canal Park Beach in Duluth, Minnesota is a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. If you're planning on a trip to Canal Park Beach during the summer months, it's important to be prepared for a wide range of weather conditions in Duluth. Well, it can be sunny and warm. It's not uncommon for the weather to be overcast, rainy, and cold even in July in Duluth. It's always a good idea to check the forecast before heading out to the beach and bring appropriate clothing and gear for any weather conditions. If it's not raining like the day we had, Canal Park Beach is the perfect spot for sunbathers and surfers alike. The beach is clean and well maintained with plenty of space to spread out and soak up the sun. The water of Lake Superior is clear and refreshing, perfect for taking a dip on a hot sunny day. For those looking to catch some waves, Canal Park Beach is a popular spot for surfers trying to catch one of those little waves. Despite the less than perfect conditions, we decided to make the most of our day at Canal Park Beach and enjoy a picnic lunch on the sand. We brought along some sandwiches, chips, and drinks and found a spot to spread out our blanket. It was a simple but enjoyable way to spend some time at the beach and take a break from exploring the driftwood that you find along its shores. One of the unique features of Canal Park Beach is the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge that spans the canal. Throughout the day, you can see several large ships pass through the Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge, which makes it fascinating for everyone to see. It's also interesting to watch the bridge go up and down to boats passing through. If you're looking for some food or a break from the beach, Canal Park has plenty of options to choose from. There are several restaurants and cafes in the area, ranging from casual beachfront spots to upscale dining options. While our day at Canal Park Beach wasn't exactly what we hoped for in terms of weather, we still managed to make some great memories. From exploring the beach to watching the ships come in, we had fun and an enjoyable day. It was a reminder that sometimes the unexpected can lead to some of the best experiences in life. If you're planning a trip to Canal Park Beach, here are a few tips that we think you should keep in mind. Definitely check the weather forecast before heading out and be prepared for a wide range of Minnesota weather conditions. Bring appropriate clothing and gear for any weather condition, including sunscreen, hats, rain gear, or even a light jacket. Plan to spend some time exploring the beach and watching the ships come in through the drawbridge. Don't forget to explore food options at Canal Park. There are plenty of great spots to choose from. While our day at Canal Park Beach may not have been perfect, it was still fun and enjoyable experience. So the next time life gives you rain, make the most out of it. So embrace the unexpected, explore with caution, and let the beauty of nature guide your path. Happy adventuring, thanks for watching, and remember to boop that subscribe button for more exciting outdoor adventures. Until next time, happy camping.